Hey guys, um, so I was going through my videos today and realized I haven't done a video on my Mustang project in 7-8 months, so a lot of things have changed since then, and I just got done working on it, had nothing else to do before I go to bed, so I uh, thought I'd uh, shoot a little video about it, so here it is. So a lot of things have changed since the last time I did a video. Um, it actually has doors and a hood and fenders and a trunk lid on it. So and it's got paint all over it. But uh, so yeah, we get done painting it. Um, painted it kind of this um, medium blue color. So um, it's packed full of. Uh, it's got coarse, medium and fine metallics and got a little bit of pearl in there too so um, this thing is crazy out in the sun so um, got that all custom mixed up and you can just see from in the video actually it's, it's pretty cool in person um, and got a couple stripes running down it um, just plain white I think uh, they had just a touch of yellow in the uh, mixing ratio, but uh, they look kind of eggshell in the shop and then white out in the sun. So, um, but no, they look uh, pretty decent. Um, let's see, get the rear end just about done um, the other day. So go chrome and lights and wiring and everything for the back. Uh, I need to put the latch in the trunk and these little rubber bumpers, which I lost, and uh, they're kind of tough to find, but I <laughs> found some on the internet, and they're coming. Um, and I don't know if I showed them another video or not, but in 1968, they put on these god-awful, ugly, 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 ugly reflectors in the back quarter panel. I don't know if that was some safety thing, and they just stuck some in there or what they did but they were not very subtle about it but uh, we uh, cut that out welded in a, a new piece and uh, put the body work over it so now it's nice in the way it should be so um, I don't see very many 68s with that taken out so I don't know why people don't do that more often um, <laughs> Whatever. Uh, this side, not much. Not much else. Everything done. Just get the door handle and the latch in. But, uh, much in. We've got uh, all the wind lights and the gas. Jack it up, you can see all your panel gaps starting to go to hell. This thing, uh, you know, moves so much. And it just twists around. Oh, it doesn't do that so bad now. That's on there, on the front end. So, but, get the little on this side. Start on. Um, just get the hook and glue together at night. Um, Good 
enough for me. Do a little bit of adjustment so it's uh, a little bit smoother. Um, it's a little, a little bit better than it is now, but I'll be done. So, and uh, the door was really tricky. Right? Uh, it's been several days trying to find how to do some of this stuff. Um, so if anybody owns one of these cars or you know, has a car similar to this and you know, they have any questions about putting this thing in that was a pain, um, please feel free to give me a comment or ask a question. So I do look at my comments um, fairly regularly. I just don't um, reply to a lot of them, especially those of you that want to be a little confrontational so um, but no feel free to ask so I'm not an expert on anything but uh, I might have something to add so um, and please if you have any tips please leave them in the comment box so um, might uh, save me a little bit of time trying to research some of this stuff so anyways yeah thanks for watching and she's uh she's looking good